Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today it's it, it's the big game. It's the Saints taking on the Kansas City Chiefs, and as you can see there, they're running up out of the tunnel. Oh, we finally made it. Oh, the feeling is real. Uh, we're finally here at Levi's Stadium, and we're up again. And there's our coach right there. Um, for our 17 and 1 record, two playoff wins, and here's our opponent, 4 to 8. Don't ask me why, training, but it's the Kansas City Chiefs. They are a point opponent, and according to this game, they're 91 overall, and we're 89, so we may be considered the underdog, but we have the better record. I don't know which one you can count on to be this decisive which is the better team but I know what will confirm it whoever wins the Super Bowl is a better team and here comes the coin toss whoever comes first um, will decide what to do I guess um, and they toss it and it's going in Kansas City Chiefs' favor and they elect to receive the ball obviously um, you always want to receive the ball um, at first I guess but like usually I like to um, kick the ball first so this is a win-win so um, here comes our kicking crew right now let's get them outside and run away as Alex Smith comes out for his first Super Bowl he didn't go play for the 49ers against the Baltimore Ravens when he was still a 49er so this is his first Super Bowl and let's get it underway as it's first and ten. Um, all right, he passes it to Jamal Charles. I mean, hands it off, but this is going long, and Jamal Charles gets a 32-yard gain, which is 34 yards until the end zone. Huge run for the Chiefs, and it stops the next play. So um, I guess you have nothing to be mad about. I guess. Because, like, the Chiefs, um, they just only lost two yards. So, we speed up a bit. It's third and 12. An incompletion back there in second. But look at that. Jeremy Macklin beating two defenders. Our two elite defenders, Tyron Matthew and Kenny Vaccaro. These two have been a deadly partnership. But they can't withstand the former Eagle. And looks like Kenny Vaccaro is injured. Um, to a play that is kind of irrelevant basically but yeah he's injured so he's out for the game so Jared's foot has to stay up and fourth and goal DeAndre Levy stops what I meant to say was Kenny Vaccaro I mean Jared's bird should um be more protective of the safety position but anyway here comes Drew Brees oh his second time in the Super Bowl his first time going to the Super Bowl he won it against the Sheriff so let's see if we can win it here against the number first round first overall pick and he finds Jimmy Graham on third and six which is good um I guess yeah, it's good so um it's first and ten and we speed it up it's third and four and he passes it to Brandon Cooks as that will be an 18 yard game I mean 12 yards whoops my math is wrong Anyway, Mark Ingram right there, who gets tossed at the last one, but that will be, I believe, you know, I lost count. I really do. I'm sorry, guys, if you want to know how much you are that damage, but let me tell you this, it's a lot of yards. And our running game has been struggling. We have to utilize it against the Chiefs, because Don Terry Poe, yes, he might be good, but it's not good enough, because those linebackers that the Chiefs have is no match. And there you go, Jimmy Graham gets the first touchdown of the Super Bowl. And that will be his first receiving touchdown of the Super Bowl in his career. Because he wasn't in the 2009 squad, I think he was, in, I think he was drafted in 2010. Which is kind of um, unfortunate, because he was drafted one year late. But anyway, Alex Smith gets pressure, and Kyle Wilson! The under... The person that I didn't know was going to be a star, he should be most improved player. That is a category in NFL. 
I don't know if it is, but I know that's in the NBA. But that is a good interception by, no by number 24. Um, I think he's actually our second. No, he's our third string cornerback. Because we have um, Delvin Bro. And um, after that interception, we couldn't do anything with it. So we had to go for a field goal. So that brings us to 10 to 3. And I think that's going to bring the end to the second to the first half. I guess not actually. Because um, the Chiefs are driving up. They might get a field goal, but they want to go for it. 39. Let's see what Alex Smith can do. Poor pass. And G was bird. Oh, yes. Yes, J. Riz. I think that's how you say his name, but nice interception by J. Riz Burke, fifth interception of the season, and he's doing well recovering Kenny Vaccaro's spot, because that's the worry when I saw the injury to Kenny Vaccaro, like, um, because I was afraid that, like, our safeties were going to get exposed, because I, uh, like, J. Riz Burke can handle it, but I guess not, he can handle it. And now Drew Brees has the ball again, slings it up to the middle, and gets Mike Evans his first playoff game. Yeah, his first playoff game. So, um, no, what? I mean, that this is his third playoff game. I'm so stupid. He played like against the the, Hawk, the Falcons for the first playoff game. Anyway, my mistake. Drew Brees goes again and finds Mike Evans again. I think that's the same play, but only. Well, no, it just looks the same, actually, but, like, reversed. Now, Mike Evans, um, that's his second catch, I guess, in this video. And, as you can see, the route, they're gonna run it to Mark Ingram. As he goes inside, oh, little step right there, and, oh, oh, what? He got two defenders, and the last one, and that's a 32-yard touchdown. Oh, my God. That's like, what? That's half, wow. Look at this, he dodges that guy, beats two guys, beats the last guy, that's for a touchdown. Mark Ingram had a really good game um, this Super Bowl. Like, it was really hard to pick an MVP because I thought he was gonna win the MVP, but there's also Jairus Bird who covered that safety position really well. And there's obviously Drew Brees, who, like, quarterbacks always win MVP. But look at that, Alex Smith, if he, and, and his Chiefs win, he's gonna be the MVP. Look at that. He, that's that's almost as good as Jamal Charles. Beating Ryan Chazier. Man. And anyway, Alex Smith finds it short to Travis Kelsey, but it's no good to move the chains as it's gonna be fourth down and six. So they're gonna have to take the field goal as it's 17 and 6 in the scoreboard. And Drew Brees sings it up high. Oh, up to the sky for Mike Evans. Mike Evans can fly high. Like Michael Jordan, he has good vertical. Uh, this is why I picked Mike Evans up. Because he's tall and he has and he's speedy. Look at that. Like, he's six foot five. He can play tight end, but he's he's quick enough to play in the wide receiver role. So like he's a like Calvin Johnson 2.0 and geez, Marcus Colston. You gotta hang on to that, bud. That's gonna be fourth down. As we're gonna take the field goal, so it's 20 and 6. And now the Chiefs are almost got it. Oh no! It's a fumble! And I think that's Eric Fisher that picked that up for the fumble. But they need to go. They need to get some plays going if they wanna get uh, this win. And look at that. They cheese us by, by Alex Smith doing a dot right there. And big, he finds Travis Kelsey in the end zone for the touchdown. So now it's a one score game 20 to 12, but they're obviously gonna make a pad attempt. Vincent Sincere, I guess, is guilty for it. I don't know. I don't know why they're showing him. Yeah, it's his fault. Now, Vincent Sincere, like, for a second string of safety, he's good. But look at Mark Ingram for the touchdown to win. Oh no! He fumbles it! That was the sealer! All he had to do was hold on to the ball. But I guess not. If you folks are still watching, I thank you. Because this game was tight till the very end. Mark Ingram fumbling it at the end zone. Poor man. But now the, the Chiefs have a chance to tie this game up and bring this to overtime. And let's see the whole drive. Travis Kelsey, he finds... 
I'm Alex Smith finds Travis Kelsey, so that means the chains. And oh, oh, oh! Last tackle by Delvin, bro. I wonder who that is. is that Jeremy Macklin. I don't know, but he was gone. Delvin Bell was there. And now, ooh, another tackle, another completion as well. Who is that? Who is that? I really don't know. I don't know these kids see each other by the series that well. And oh my god, he finds another one. Man, Alex Smith is is playing clutch right now. But he only has 18 seconds to go. What can Alex Smith do? Oh, and it's swatted away by Stephon Anthony. Oh, yes. Oh, that was crucial. Now it's 13 seconds until then. It's either Alex Smith scoring a touchdown or the same swing. Oh, he runs up. That's going to waste some time. And you have to call a quick timeout. Six seconds to go. Alex Smith gets pressure. And he throws it away. The Saints win. The Saints win the Super Bowl. And the Chiefs are not going to get their breakthrough as the Saints win they're going to Disneyland or Disney World who cares they're the same thing I guess because I've been to them I forgot which one it was but good game by the Chiefs and good victory to the Saints um confetti's flying everywhere the news headlines will be boomed with this result um as this is a good victory for the Saints and we'll see the highlights once again. Uh, we live the moments of the Super Bowl. Because this one is something that these men will remember. And there's marking them touchdown. Pretty cool. And that's the first touchdown of the game by uh, Jimmy Graham. And here's the podium and Jairus, Jarius Bird gets the Super Bowl MVP. I guess Drew Brees is not going to get a second, but I don't think for sure that he gets the Super Bowl, which is worth more than anything to any of these players. As the fans are going wild, and those, and the three captains, like, they're not the captains, they're just like, the animation. We're holding up the trophy, Drew Brees, our captain, hold it up, and there's Roger Goodell in the background. Um, okay. I don't know what he's doing there. But guys, thanks for watching and the offseason will be next.